Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Taurus. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Taurus. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section, and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. All right, I scurry the pink gem for you today, and the image that showed up for you was two women. Uh, the first woman to the left was an older woman, and she was wearing a long hood, and it was like a very long, dark hood, and she was hunched over, and she was leaning against another female, and this female was upright, and she had a very low-cut, like, dress shirt for her chest, and Standing in front of them was a large frog. So a frog symbolizes evil, symbolizes demonic energy. So that could represent there's someone evil within your life that you could possibly not be aware of. Now the first card to come out for you today is the two of candles. Elijah on Mount Carmel. Elijah went before the people and said, how long will you waver between the two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if, and they mention the name of the idol is God, then follow it. So with this card coming out, this is representing dealing with people that are trying to, you know, basically be of two paths. And you can't do that. You always have to choose one over the other. You cannot have two masters. You will always love one master over the other. So it's letting you know here to be aware of someone that tries to perhaps uh, smile in your face, but really they are practicing and doing something demonic. Now, this card also has a, another definition to it, which is also representing like leadership. You're stepping into this role of leadership where you are defending your faith and you are fighting like demonic energies is what this could be representing. You know, you're taking this powerful role and the two of candles is a significant decision or crossroads, the courage to stand for one's beliefs, leadership in challenging situations, clarity of vision and purpose, the power of conviction and action. So you're stepping into this <clears throat> very powerful role here, you know, standing up for your belief and your faith, and, you know, fighting against demonic energies. And that was clarified by the three of coins. This is like my collaboration. So I feel like you will be surrounding yourself uh, around people that are of like mind to you. Just be aware of people that are trying to pretend they are of the like mind of you. So you will have people that are on the same wavelength as you. And you'll also have some people that are just pretending to. So just be aware of that. Now the next card out for you is the Knave of Coins. The Knave of Coins represents good news in earthly matters. So you're going to be receiving some type of earthly news, you know, around good news in regards to your finances. The next card out for you is the Bible verse, Faith is being sure of what we hoped for and certain for what we have not seen. So that's a beautiful message that's coming out for you as well. Next card out for you is the Black Cat, Lost Magic, Atonement, and Rebalance. So with this card coming out, you know, you could be going through a situation where you feel like you have, uh, you know, lost the magic within you or feeling, you know, this um, need for rebalance, you know, perhaps feeling, you know, this feeling of lack being around these demonic energies, you know, they could possibly be trying to block your energy, trying to make it hard for you to see into the spiritual realm, making, trying to make you lose that connection. But just know that the rebalance is going to be restored. Now, the next card out for you is Mother Wart Inundation. So with this card coming out, this has lots of symbolism. The mother war represents childbirth. It's also a very laborious for both mother and child, yet the results are miraculous. A different type of existence awaits for you, beckoning you from the other side of the birth canal. And it's letting you know here that if you had, you know, some type of problems within your relationship with your mother, you know, you are going to be able to heal that. It's time to release any emotional pain. And it's representing a new, new, something new being, you know, birth into life, you know, a new beginning here. And it has medicinal benefits. It could help with labor, birth, stimulating the uterus. It brings on delayed menstrual cycle, elevating cramps and PMS, helps with nervousness, heart palpitations, anxiety, blood pressure, chronic anxiety. So it has lots of medicinal benefits that are worth looking into. So all in all, I see a really good reading here for you. Just be aware of people that are, you know, basically demonic energies and in disguise of being good people. So just be aware of people that are trying to surround you that could possibly be in that energy. But, you know, all in all, I do see you stepping into, you know, your magic and 
having rebalance into your life as well as financial blessings. All right, Taurus, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.